Ox program for the iPhone, B-O-C-H-S. It is a computer emulator um, that runs on the iPhone. Um, currently on an iPhone 4 and going to launch Windows 95. Um, it has its own BIOS, which starts up from the Windows 95 image. You get a keyboard and backspace and control delete options. And the Windows 95 loading screen. Ain't it beautiful? And so this is actually being being virtualized on the device. Not the fastest thing, but a lot faster than it was first introduced, I think, for like the 3G or 3GS. So, and it definitely took forever and was unusable on my iPod Touch 1G. So it has been around for a while. So, you can see the progress at the bottom. It's slowly loading. Look at that beautiful Windows 95 logo. Theoretically, this could be used to go higher, 98, 2000, maybe even XP. XP would be amazing, but I don't foresee it running that great, and it would be even slower than this. Microsofty. Did I say it takes a long time to load? <laughs> so we are up with the cursor. I can't really move a lot at the moment because it's still loading. There you go. Loading up. And you have the beautiful and glorious Windows 95 running on an iDevice. Wait for it to load a little bit more. Still working. So it acts as a trackpad, which is kind of nice. So you can be a little bit more precise than if it was just one to one tapping. You can tap start. Taking a while. Eh, I'm confused even more. So I can go to programs. Ooh. Programs. Open up the sub menu. Accessories. This is slightly faster than normally. I think it's because I'm recording the screen and the audio that it's a little bit slower at the moment. It normally isn't this laggy. 
Uh, I can open something like Minesweeper. And tap it. And wait for it to open. And we have a game of Minesweeper on the iPhone. So let's see how I do with this. Tap. Okay, so there's one touching that. Let's hit here. Woo! Hmm, not helping at all. Going to take a risk and hit this one. Okay, so pretty sure I can hit this one. I don't know if this has a right click actually. Um, oh, it does. Oh, and that was. Didn't mean to tap that, but that was mine. Um, I had that one right. But, yeah. Um, internet connection does not work. That'd be kind of cool to have a virtual interface and have that connect. But, and then I could open Notepad. Once you kind of like ignore the lag, you can use it. It's just, you don't try not to pay attention to the lagginess. You just kind of move and it'll catch up eventually, so you can be a little bit faster with it. You just have to keep in mind that it, it, it can't keep up with you at all times. And so, we got a notepad open. And we, <laughs> it doesn't take that, is, uh, apparently it interprets backspace as space. Okay, this, well, this is a test. And I still didn't type this correctly. What in the world? This. There we go. And then I can go down to the corner. Now I just lost it. Okay. Go down to the corner. Push down. Well. Not quite hitting it correctly. And you'll get the darkened screen. And I can say yes, I do want to shut down. And it nags me about notepad not being saved. So I hit no. And it shuts down out of the app. Um, that's it. Goodbye.